uh, I have to show my, my, my ticket and uh, the forces uh, told me that I can pass and it permitted me to pass to go to the stadium but what happened in the, night, in, in, in the match the night was uh, they, they, they put the, the, the fans in a cellular tube that was very small for all those fans to, to pass through so what happened? So uh, that's like, you know, what you're saying is like a precaution to have the tickets, you know, um, uh, uh, inspected or seen or visible before entering the stadium. So what, what was happening, you, you mean, it was wrong in terms, because there are standards for, uh, for stadiums, I guess, for such, you know, incidents, because this happens all around it's the world. Very noisy, very noisy. If you see everything, it's very noisy. You can see it's it's very bad organizations. All, always, always, uh, something wrong that is likely to happen. Yes, it's just uh, the, the by coincidence it might happen, it might not happen. Right, let's take now a break and return uh, with uh, more news about if uh, the existing foreign coaches for the Ahli and Zamalek will continue to play after this tragic incident uh, that happened during Zamalek's match. But let's move now to a story with sailing and Volvo Ocean race leaders. Dolphin race team on Saturday uh, became the first Chinese and bath crew to win an import race in the history of the 41-year-old. We will be speaking, is skipping the sailing and we'll be heading to cycling now and we'll be going back to sailing very long, but British cycling great Mark Cavendish said he was over the moon after he won the Tour of Dubai on Saturday. Let's have a look at the story. Cycling great Mark Cavendish said he was over the moon after he won the Tour of Dubai on Saturday, capping a fine display and now sprinting his rivals to claim the fourth stage. The 29-year-old Isle of Man rider had been deposed at the top of the overall standings on Friday by Germany's John Degenkolb. But he clinched victory after seeing off Italian Elia Viviani and Spain's Juan Jose Lobato after the closing 128 km wide for his second stage win of the week. With his 10 second bonus to quick step star, he completed the stage in 2 hours and 37 minutes 15 seconds, ended up 6 seconds clear of Degen Kolb, who crossed in ninth place. Lobato took 3rd overall, 10 seconds adrift of Cavendish. To the France champion Vincenzo Nibali, perhaps with Sunday's start of the Tour of Qatar weighing on his mind, coasted in among the peloton to take 39th spot overall, nearly a minute and a half adrift of Cavendish's winning team. Didn't they? 
No, so you got a vote. We went through quite meticulously. Everyone knew where they had to go. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of the Dubai 2015, the second place rider as well, and the third place rider, Shane Hawkins, is in the four. What was that about, Tom? Welcome back, we're still watching Sprint and I'm still joined with Sprint Journals with Al Ahamri Kili Muhammad Abu Reza. Once again, I'd like to thank you for joining us. My question. So, if, if we move to uh, the fate of uh, um, the existing foreign coaches for Ahmed and Zamalek after the uh, tragic incident and the disaster or the football disaster, um, do you think uh, those three will be continuing? They will, um, you know, undecided. If they are saying the point of view to stay, what do you think is going to be happening? To be honest, I don't know. But uh, I think uh, the coming days will, will tell uh, if, if, the, if they are going to terminate the, 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 the Premier League for, for this season. I don't think they will continue if they have another, another choices or another uh, options to move uh, to other countries, other leagues. What, what do you see coming next uh, with the um, several years, ever since the, the 25th of January revolution, um, several years football has been in, in the down uh, side, uh, performance in the down side, you know, missing the African Cup of Nations a couple of times, um, missing the World Cup. So, in your opinion, what is upcoming for the Egyptian football in terms of fans, in terms of uh, Egyptian team too. Frankly speaking, uh, I believe that in every position, uh, especially in sports, if you want to move forward, move to, uh, you want to change after the revolution, uh, a lot of people should take a side and be put in, uh, in the same position, people who, who are qualified for the, for, for the position. Uh, starting from the presidents of the clubs, you have to get people who know how to manage sports in the first place, not how to spend money and bring players and sell players and bring players and sell players. And, uh, and those people who are in the FA and, and those, it's not, it's not mean that if I'm, if I'm, I'm a football player, I work in the FA. It's not that way uh, abroad. It's about my qualifications, how I'm going to win the FA and the, and the tournaments and championships in Egypt. And what's my plan, and how I'm going to apply it, and, and what I'm, I'm looking for after applying my, 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 my plans. That's how it's, if, if you want to succeed and move forward in all sports, not only in football. And that's a big problem. We're only concentrating on football and, and, and believing that football is, is the main sport in Egypt. Uh, however, a lot of sports uh, are doing a lot better uh, achievements but uh, the media is not uh, turning their heads to, to such sports. Yes. And uh, what's happening is that many sports, the, pl the, the players just uh, are frustrated and, and, and let go of the sport. Uh, even if there's champions like Andy Shabani, he went his, his, he won the world champion four times. Uh, imagine the, the Egyptian football team won the World Cup four times. Never happened. They we were struggling to qualify. He's yeah. a world champion. Amr Shabana is a legend. Four times and he's now 34 and he's uh, ranked second world uh, on the PSA. Uh, he left Egypt after Ahmed decided out of nowhere after the revolution to cut off expenses. They, they released him and they decided that he's, uh, he's, he's ruining the, 
the, the financial uh, organization and uh, we left him, uh, all the sponsors in Egypt left him and he decided to move abroad to Canada for three years, um, establish his own academy and, and play abroad. Yes. That's, uh, that's really um, uh, a, ba um, you know, a sad story when it comes to the sport, but if you can give me your opinion on the relation or the upcoming relation between Zalaix fans and uh, the, the club. Now, what, what happened, um, the uh, Ahli fans and, and everybody who is watching, not only the fans, the football fans, everybody who saw the tragic incidents of Prince Saeed, never forget them one day. So it has been three years, but everybody remembers uh, even remembers how we felt and how sad we felt that moment when we heard about this tragic situation. Now, this is repeating itself now, and I think it brings back the memory of people, the bad memories of uh, the Port Said case. Yes, as I said before, we didn't tackle the problem, the main problem. It happened again because we didn't tackle the, the main problem of, uh, that happened years ago, uh, the Port Said incident. Uh, we didn't know what's the problem, what caused the problem. And the people who, who are responsible for this, they, they, till now I'm not talking about judge, but till now we don't know who, who are they. Uh, and, and people didn't say what's the problem. The officials didn't come out and say the problem was su such and such. Uh, and it happened to him. And I think it will happen, it will happen. And uh, uh, all, you see, all you see today is people blaming each other. I, I, I can't believe that. And, and I, th I don't think we're going to move on if, if it goes like this. So, in your opinion, Muhammad, if, um, uh, did the Egyptian League have any sort of flavor? Because this is what we lacked with the ban on the crowds. And now, with the situation, what type of flavor that the Egyptian Premier League would have for now in the remaining season? Uh, I don't know. Uh, from the start of the, of the, of the season, uh, I, did, I didn't taste any flavor, to be honest. Uh, and and they, when they decided to, to let uh, the fans uh, uh, go uh, in the season, uh, we need to do that with. So, I, I don't believe that it's going to right way, and I don't think we're going to continue the whole thing. No, okay, let, let's flip it a little bit away from uh, this tragic situation, also to give an update to the viewers and the sports fans on the Egyptian Premier League in general. Uh, I know it's, uh, it's, it's, it's far away from, uh, from what is happening today on the ground, uh, but let's ta take a snapshot from the perspective of evaluating the performance of the league. Um, Zamalek is on top of the list um, uh, uh, now, and this match, Zamalek and Umpi, is an important match because they are fighting in the top spot. Uh, and Ahli comes third with 36 points. So, in your opinion, how are you seeing uh, the performance of those top three teams? Mm. I believe that uh, Zamalek uh, is doing well, uh, but, but not the performance that we, we can reckon that uh, the team will, will finish uh, on top in every game. Uh, we can predict can this. Uh, and uh, in addition to, to that, that, a lot of players last season left uh, Zamalek and left Ahli and left other teams, and they were scattered across the teams in, in, in the league. And that, uh, I believe, need, uh, need a great competition and uh, need the, 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 the performance uh, uh, close to each other among the teams. Yes. Uh, so I believe, and, and I believe also Ahli is not doing well at all. Uh, they're struggling, but, but they're, they're, they're trying to do their best and um, get the, the best result. Do you think they really would make a difference with the uh, with, with uh, Till now, he's not making any difference, uh, but you can't blame him at the same time, because the, the players under his command were not as the players of the players of Abitrika and Barakat and those players. Uh, uh, if Gaib is playing a uh, managing team in Europe, they'll give him uh, uh, the chance one year or two years. So uh, if they have faith in him, and they think uh, he's a big, uh, he's a big man. Uh, to now, the Ahli is uh, giving him the chance. But that's the reason for Ahli, because they, they kind of recruit very carefully.